Okay, here's some super rough raw video about how to build a solar oven using only two pieces. Basically a piece of cardboard and a Walmart type chair. Okay, first get your cardboard. About 34 inches wide. And about 67 inches long. From a refrigerator box or something. Then mark your midpoint. And at the bottom, make a 7 inch diameter circle. Here's how I make the funnel. Take the cardboard, force the ends together like that. Then, just use a bunch of simple screws to put it together. Of course, this cardboard's a little beat up. This thing's been through the ringer. Okay, looks pretty lousy, but it works, and you should have a funnel shape by the time you're done. Now to make it usable. This particular chair had some little brackets on it, so if you happen to have one like this, great. Set the funnel in here. Then use large cutter pins to hold it to the chair. You now have the funnel attached to the chair. It should be held open like this so you don't have to turn it as much as the sun moves across the sky or as the earth rotates. Put the cooker in the sun and angle it accordingly.
when you look down into the cooker, you can see when it's aimed properly. See, you'll either have shadow or really bright sun reflecting back. Use some sunglasses while doing this if you want. I couldn't find my piece of four inch fence post to put down in the bottom of the funnel. So you can see, I just put in a, uh, like a little plastic ice cream container that I had laying around or something like that. That supports the pot and puts it up in the focal point of the solar funnel. So you can use anything. You could use uh, a couple small bricks broken in half or something, or even a small piece cut out of a log or whatever. Um, even just some legs to hold the pot up in the center. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can do this, but just for this test we're going to use what's laying around. Okay, I went ahead and put a pot of water in there. Uh, just like a little metal uh, MSR pot kit. I think it's like a maybe a two quart or something like that. Three quart, I forget offhand, but it's pretty small. And I'm not going to put any, uh, a black pot would obviously be better, but I'm not going to do anything special to this. I'm just going to set some water in here and see what happens. And I'll take a quick temperature reading right now. It's 1240. Okay, it's one o'clock. Let's check the temperature. Okay, temperature is 97.6 degrees. That's only after about 20 minutes or so. All right, it's 1.30 now. Let's see what it's up to. It just went right off the scale. Okay, had to get the other thermometer. Okay, let's see if we can get a closer look in here. If you notice, the water's full of bubbles. And it's reading pretty close to 130 degrees in the water right now. So pretty good for about an hour out here. And uh, that's with no glass jar around it, uh, no black pot, or anything of that nature. Uh, normally what I do is I go to Walmart and get a two-gallon glass cookie jar made by Anchor Hocking, and I set the glass jar inside there and put the cooking pots inside the glass jar. And with the lid on the glass jar, I've had this solar cooker up to about 315 degrees. 
and this is with all the wrinkles in the in the aluminum foil and you know not even really pointed that well um, the other point I want to mention if you step back a little bit here you notice the shadow on the ground the earth moves uh, roughly about well <laughs> anywhere from 15 uh, to 11 degrees per hour depending on where you are on the earth you know it's a little variable so that means that every hour we're going to shift a little bit and you can see the shadow has shifted already so what you want to do is you can just reset the cooker a little bit to uh, keep it up at optimum temperature if you notice it moved about that much so now looking straight in the cooker the shadow should be roughly even I probably moved it a little bit too far but you know this is just a rough video just to get you an idea and uh, the beauty of this solar funnel like this is that the aperture on it you know the opening you have here is nice and wide so you don't have to turn the cooker as much if you held up just a flat mirror here you'd be turning it serious amounts every 15 minutes or or so you know throughout the course of an hour you know you'd have to keep steering this thing so this one here you can pretty much just kind of set it and forget it you know come out every hour and just turn it saves you a lot of work so hopefully uh, this has been a pretty educational short video and uh, I'm gonna go edit this thing up and we'll see what we get thanks